What's going on, everybody? My name is Casper Parfums, and today I'll be reviewing the Steal Your Wife in 1982 classic from the House of Guy LaRoche. We have Dracar Noir. 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 How you doing? Good to see you around, guys. It's been a while. I'm my intro. I was like, "Yo, should I just act like I haven't been gone for a month?" But I haven't hit a month yet. But I'm I'm real. I'm peeking close to it. But nonetheless, I do really miss doing it. I think about the camera all the time. I just never throw the camera on. I've been really busy, like really busy. I haven't even I haven't even done a short in a couple of days. So I've been. Just call me a pair of dress pants because I've been slack. Terrible bar. Terrible. But I hope you're doing good. It feels good to be back. I got to get my subs up, dude. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just like all fucked up. <clears throat> it happens. I haven't had coffee. My ring light is dead. I had a terrible workout this morning. Terrible workout. You know that sometimes you just don't get into it. And then you, like, you do it, but it's just not. It's not it, man. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We're gonna go through the notes. That's what we're gonna do. Perfumer Pierre War Wargny Wargny Wargny. I don't know if it has like a baloney thing. You know what I mean? G N. And a thing. You know what I'm saying? I hope you uh, brought your Nikes because this is a fucking marathon to get through these notes. Because there's a lot. Top notes at a. <clears throat> Top notes of the fragrance, we got lavender, lemon, bergamot, rosemary, mint, lemon verbena, band, basil, artemisia. Middle notes, juniper, coriander, cinnamon, wormwood, carnation, angelica, jasmine. Base notes of oak moss, pine tree needles, very specific, leather, fir, sandalwood, vetiver, patchouli, sand, cedar, amber, resins. You know what's not good about having all these notes is that I'm just like this and you're just looking at the top of my head as opposed to looking at me because I want to look at you, you want to look at me. This is a internet transaction kind of thing. Did I show the bottle? I think I did. This is not even, what is this, this is 30? Oh, this is 50 ml. This should mass small, right? 50? Let's go in with that liquor tree spree then. God damn, bro. My vascularity is crazy though since I left. You know what I'm saying? That shit really has been uplifting. It feels weird. Like, I don't even think to, like, look at the camera right now because the ring light's off. So, I just think I'm talking to myself, which is a usual thing. But, it smells so good. Dude, this perfume, bro, I don't care what anybody says, man. It's dated. Super dated. It smells old as fuck. But, Damn, I'm saying if you was born in 1982, you old as fuck. How old could you be? 40? 42? No big deal. Can you really go wrong? You can't. You can't go wrong at all. Seriously, you can smell. There's like. Okay. So I think this is one of the reasons why I really like this perfume. And I'll tell you why. It's because most of. I speak about this probably more than I need to, but that's okay. You should know. Most contemporary perfumes are really built structurally, um, like real similar to each other. So there's there's usually somewhere between like 20 and 50, if not more percent of just like isoe super and hedium. And a lot of people, they hear these words, but they don't really understand what they do. So typically in formulas, they're used because they're diffusive. So they have sillage, right? and they um they have good tenacity so that means they last a while so when you think about the the structural or like the think about like the skeleton of the perfume if you already know that okay i know it's gonna have some sillage due to this i know it's gonna have some duration due to this i already have a lot of the performance markers done completed before i even think about giving you 
or building of an accord that can give you the character of a bourbon, right? So that's the way tons, like every fucking perfume is being built in today's world. Obviously, typically coupled with some musk, uh, a lot of habanolide, some helvetolide, which has more of like a nutty, fruity type vibe to it. Not nutty. You're like cardamom kind of leaning. Maybe, in my opinion. Um, or like a laxolide, ethylene, braslate, because these things are pretty forgiving type must. And what I mean by forgiving is that they don't just shut down everything else in the perfume. So everything else still kind of has room to breathe, even with high concentration of these must. As we super and hedione. But hedione, in my opinion, the higher you go, hedione has a tendency to not bring other molecules with it. It kind of just does its own thing. So I'm giving you this entire spiel to tell you that this perfume wasn't really built like that. But it was <clears throat> built like that, boy. This is fire, bro. This is a sheep, bro. It's doing so good right now. I fuck with it so hard. But it was built differently. So there wasn't just 50% of two things making up the entirety of the perfume. There is a lot of like naturals in here. Probably not anymore though. Am I a liar? But there's definitely tons of you can pick up tons of lavender. You could smell that patchouli. You get little hints of cedar wood. And it's not so crazy on the must, because on the must, if I'm not mistaken, they're using something called tonalite, which is a clean powdery. You know, just clean. It is a powder. It's not powdery, in my opinion. This is just a powder. It's clean. It smells very nice. And it's, in my opinion, closely related to another molecule called dihydromersinol, which gives you this fresh, wafting, think Abercrombie and Fierce. It had an overdose of that. And you definitely pick it up in here. And once you, um, you couple that with citrus notes, lavender, a couple of aromatics, it gives you this fantastic masculine top notes, even specific to like a Chifra or even a Fougere. It's very good, man. Oak moss, this probably had real oak moss when it yeah, definitely had fucking real. Oh my god. You can't match real oak moss, man. No matter what they try to do, no matter what they try to sell you, they even sell you if for compliant oak moss, which they took out something, I believe it was something called atronol that they like removed from it, and it's still not like it's just not. If you could get your hands on like real oak moss, nah, nah, stupid, bro. I let those top aromatic citruses are starting to calm down we're kind of getting into that little heart to base type feel now you could definitely pick up some of that oak moss the patchouli is coming through a lot more and you're starting to get some spicy notes now i see it mentions carnation i don't know for certain but pretty much historically tons of carnation accords were built on something called isoeugenol which is heavily restricted and isoeugenol it's long lasting, it's bloomy, it has a very, very lovely clove odor. However, one of the main odorants of clove is eugenol, which is equally good, but it's a little more sharp, a little more warm. Whereas, as I said, iso eugenol has more of a, it's like a, I don't know, it's got like a fluffy feel. I'm not trying to sound zesty right now, but it does. It's a little fluffy, it makes you want to, makes you want to hug somebody. If you have nobody to hug, you can hug me. And there is some leather notes. I don't really know what the hell they used to do it. Probably something called isobutyquinoline. Probably mixed with the patchouli and vetiver. Maybe creates like this nice leather, leather facet. Oh, and oak moss too. Definitely for sure. It's just super nice, man. You really can't go wrong, dude. And it's cheap as hell. The only thing is I know the performance isn't like super amazing. But I think if you overspray this, no one's going to be mad. Like no one's going to be like, dude, you, you took a bath and you say, yeah. Dude, now I'm gonna steal your bitch. <laughs> I gotta get the word, man. Unfortunately, I gotta start doing more videos too. I have to honestly start doing more videos later in the day because then I have more, more spice. You know what I'm saying? It's just, dude, my work schedule's been crazy. Everything's been crazy. Everything been crazy. But we keep pushing, we keep moving, and we're gonna continue to do so. Um. Yeah, so hopefully I can keep putting on some more videos. I definitely have tons of perfumes I can review, so it's not even like 
that's the thing. I'm not going to say tons. I got like probably like 15. If I stayed consistent, that's like two months. But, you know, you know how that goes. Anyways, thank you for watching. I didn't say like it. Bro. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm going to enjoy myself. I will see you guys on the next one. Adios, amigos.